Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna show you how I decorated my house for Valentine's Day. I've had people asking, did you decorate your house? And I try and always decorate my house for every season. So I wanted to get this out and show you guys. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. To begin with, here's just a quick overview of my living room. Let me take you in right here to the front door and let me show you what I did. I started with the same wreath that I bought at Christmas time from Walmart and I took out all the large red poinsettias and added in a bunch of heart picks from Dollar Tree. Now over here on the side on my trellis I have these hearts from Dollar Tree that I bought a couple years ago. I just popped a couple little um, Dollar Tree white roses in the bottom of each heart, put a red bow from Dollar Tree over the top of it, and called that part good. Down here on this little table, I have one of the little Dollar Tree pink trees along with a couple of their stuffed animals. I really kept everything super simple for this Valentine's Day. A lot of it is just from Dollar Tree and I didn't make it over. I just used it as it is. Let me show you here on the mantle what I did. Again, keeping it super simple. On each side, you'll see I have these gold candlesticks that I have from Hobby Lobby along with a couple of their white fir trees. And you'll see, I just put a couple of these uh, heart scatters from Dollar Tree on them. They stick really well to these fir trees. And on the top here, I have my Valentine's wreath that I DIY'd a few years ago. I'll go ahead and leave a link up above if you'd like to see how to make that. I have this adorable boy and girl who I thrifted a few years back and made into a Mackenzie Child dupe. I love them. I use them every Valentine's Day. And you can see I decided to use my white church that I picked up at Hobby Lobby this past Christmas. And I'm loving that. The runner up on top of my mantle is from Hobby Lobby. And the little girl in I can't remember if I got that at Dollar Tree or if I got that at Hobby Lobby, but one or the other of those. Like I said, I just kept it super simple, but I'm loving the way it looks. Now over here on the other side of the living room, let me kind of take you in and show you what I have over here. All the pillows are the same red and white pillows that I used for Christmas and they're all from Walmart. Down here, I have the little white monkey from Dollar Tree. The little monkey in the bag, I believe I got him from my local grocery store. I have this real cute little gnome guy here. I picked him up at Marshall's, I believe last year. Maybe the year before, I'm not sure which. Then over here on the side table, again, I just have some Dollar Tree items along with the fur placemat and the little white stick trees from Hobby Lobby. And then this tall pencil tree is the one that I picked up at Walmart this past Christmas. And I just have all kinds of just red picks put into my tree this year. I'm loving that. I forgot to turn the tree on, but it does light up. All the little red picks are just either thrifted or from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. A lot of them are thrifted, just like this little one down here that says always and forever on the bottom there. You'll see these little red plush ones. Those are actually keychains. So just anything that kind of fits in with that red heart theme. If I had it, I threw it on this tree. So some of these are a little bit nicer picks. Some of them are just paper picks or little cardboard hearts. And I just love it all. I put them all on here. I love how it adds just different textures and a different feel to it with each one, some being glittered, some not. This is the always and forever heart down here that I said I picked up at the thrift store. So I'm just really liking that. It's clean, it's simple, 
Then back here on my couch, I had this red pillow. I actually thrifted this, but it is a Pier 1 import pillow, the red heart one. And then I just have a little basket with the hearts that I also thrifted. And again, just sitting on one of the fur placemats on my coffee table. So you can see I kept everything super simple this year. I didn't do a whole lot of DIYs because I'm super busy trying to plan a wedding for one of my daughters. So keeping it really easy and simple for Valentine's Day decorations here. Now here on my secretary, you can see that several of the things in here are from Dollar Tree last year, or I have a couple of my DIYs. Let me take you in closer here. This is one of my little Mackenzie Child DIY gifts. These are so great to give to somebody. If you have somebody who's really hard to buy for, that gift costs absolutely nothing and everybody loves it. I'll leave a link up above if you wanna know how to make that. And of course, up here on top, I just have a couple lanterns and another one of these little Dollar Tree little trees up there. And then here's my kitchen. I really bought almost nothing unless it was from Dollar Tree or I think I bought two things from Hobby Lobby this year. This um, hand towel was one of them. And then over on this other side here on the left side, the heart that says welcome is also from Hobby Lobby. All the other signs that are new up here up on top those are all from Dollar Tree this year. This love sign here are just leftover pieces of wood my husband had that I painted and made love out of it. Otherwise, all my other little signs on my shelves right here are from Dollar Tree. The small little hearts across my valence here those are hearts that I made a couple years ago. I'll go ahead and leave a link up above if you want to know how to make those. Then I just left my larger lighted trees up above from Christmas. Hanging down from my valence, this love heart with the hearts going down from it. That is something I thrifted. I really, I love buying off season things that I can find at garage sales, thrift stores, or after the season. That is generally when I stock up on different holiday decor from all the different seasons. I always have my eye out for holiday decor. So, and I just keep some bins in one of my rooms downstairs. And when I'm buying stuff throughout the year, I just throw it in one of these bins and I just grab it out of there come the new season. So this is how I decorated my home for Valentine's Day this year. I hope that you guys have all had a chance to decorate your homes as well and that you've enjoyed watching how I did mine. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching!